What's good, YouTube? It's Aquarius of the Prophecy. And, um, you know, I just wanted to talk about the state of the NFL and where, you know, um, where it's going for the next five to ten years. Or let's just say for the next ten years. Um, I mean, the NFL has came a long way, has come a long way. Um, you know, they went through the, you know, John Montana's. They went through the, you know, Brett Favre's, the Peyton Manning's, the Eli Manning's. Um, you know, they have, you know, gone through a lot of mediocre quarterbacks. They have gone through a lot of one-and-done quarterbacks. Um, but the NFL is always surfacing around the quarterbacks. Now, I know it's a quarterback league, you know what I'm saying? But I just think that the NFL puts too much emphasis on, on the quarterbacks, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like it's not going to hurt the NFL uh, if a defensive player wins MVP, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody that's a non-quarterback that's non-quarterback wins MVP. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to hurt the league if, you know, not be, like, like, it's not going to hurt the league if Patrick Peterson wins the MVP. It's not going to hurt the league if, you know, um, McDonald, um, Aaron McDonald wins the MVP. It's not going to hurt if Khalil Mack wins the MVP. The MVP is passing... It's being passed around like a blunt, you know what I'm saying? Like a used condom, like a used blunt, you know what I'm saying? Like it's quarterback almost every year, you know? So it's impossible, it's impossible uh, to, to say that, oh, a defensive player is going to win, you know? Like a defensive player can win defensive player of the year, you know what I'm saying? But it's hard to win. MVP if you not a quarterback, you know what I'm saying? Like a wide right receiver, I mean, I could count you, I could count how many times a wide right receiver could have won MVP, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, what are your criteria to win an MVP in the National Football League? You have to have over a thousand yards, you have to have over you know, 70 receptions or 70 uh, rushing yards. You know what I'm saying? Uh, rushes, I should say. Uh, you, sh you sh I, Obviously, you should go over 1,000 yards or 4,000 yards or 3,000 yards. Um, you know, as a, as a defensive player, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can have every metrics in, in, in a defensive unit. You know what I'm saying? But you'll still find a way to lose out. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say, hypothetically, you know, Peyton Manning was to go up against, you know, Ray Lewis for MVP. You know what I'm saying? Peyton Manning has 53 touchdowns or 55 touchdowns. He threw over for 5,000 yards. You know what I'm saying? He was 32 out of 48. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he threw for you know fifty three touchdowns and he only he only had nine interceptions. Where to Ray Lewis? Ray Lewis has twelve tackles for loss. You know what I'm saying? He has nine interceptions. He has a hundred and thirteen tackles. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Just typical you know analyst stuff. But he would find his way. Ray Lewis would find a way. Well, the NFL would find a way to screw over Ray Lewis because, oh, it's a quarterback driven league. Nobody cares about defense. Nobody cares if you have this and that. You know what I'm saying? What puts butts in seats? What put butts in seats is action. You know what I'm saying? It's fireworks. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you watch a football game, it's not going to pop out to you. Like, your eyes is not going to pop out and say, wow, that was a big, you know what I'm saying, hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of, kind of, kind of. Like, um, kind of. So, um, I mean, it just hurts. You know, it just hurts. You know, uh, Des Bryant back in 2014, you know what I'm saying? When he had 
like a career high 14 touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? He went over a thousand yards. So I don't know why the NFL doesn't, you know, share the rock or share the trophy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, man, it's not going to hurt the NFL if a defensive player or a non quarterback player wins the trophy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to hurt. It's not. But they feel like it's a quarterback's trophy. You know what I'm saying? Like, most valuable player, you know what I'm saying, is a person that basically does everything for your team. Whether you're have whether you have a losing record or you have a winning obviously when you have a winning record, they'll obviously give it to you. But if you have a losing record, they'll probably give you some shitty ass reward, probably like a rookie of the year or, you know, play of the year or whatever have you. But MVPs are for the elites of elites. So if Aaron Dono can't generate the same production that he does on offense as a quarterback, why you can't give it to him? You know what I'm saying? Like, why does it always have to be a quarterback each and every year? Now, in recent history, it, it has gone away from the quarterback a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Davis, the running back for the for the Broncos, he won it. Uh the Donnie LT Ladanian Thomason, he was the last person to win it. Uh, you know, I think Adrian Peterson won MVP. Uh, if I'm wrong, y'all can correct me on that. So it has gone to quarterbacks. I mean, it has gone to non quarterbacks before. You know what I'm saying? But a wide receiver never won it. Maybe I'm wrong. I could go back and look, but maybe I'm wrong. A defensive end never won it. You know what I'm saying? Did Lawrence Taylor win MVP? You know what I'm saying? Like, Ray Lewis never won MVP. So, like, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, it's an NFL problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see how every single year is different in the NBA because the NBA is very versatile. You know what I'm saying? Like, a center can win it. You know, like, when is the last time a center won the MVP? You know what I'm saying? A shooting guard can win MVP. A point guard can win MVP. But you have to be among the elites of elites. You can't be a bottom feeder or you can't be the or you can't be in the middle of the pack. Like, I'm pretty sure if Paul George wanted to, he could have won the MVP. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody is qualified. You know, I'm, well, I take that back. Everybody is qualified, but you you would have to do so much. You know, to to even sniff at the you know, at the MVP. Now, Paul George can win Finals MVP. He can win that easily, but to win MVP, you would have to do it. You would have to do so much that when you finally reach the N- NBA Finals, you all gassed out. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I think Giannis and James Harden has to figure out. Like. Yeah, they can go 100 miles per hour in the regular season, but when it comes down to the postseason, it, it kind of slows them down. You know what I'm saying? Like, it takes so much out of them because they put so much energy in the regular season. Uh, when it comes down to the playoffs, they're no show or their performance are lacklustered. So, I just think that the NFL needs to go back and, you know, just make it to where everybody has a fair chance, you know? I mean, now, I mean, giving it to the quarterback every year is boring. Like, who the fuck wants to watch a damn quarterback win it every year? I sure don't. I want to see different cats, you know, get it. You know what I'm saying? I want to see a defensive end get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope Chase Young one day gets it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see, you know, you know, I want to see... You know, anybody besides a quarterback gets it because I think it's very fun for the league. And, you know, maybe the NFL can say, hmm, maybe if we can just stretch the envelope a little bit, then maybe, you know, the MVP won't become so worthless. Because I think the NFL MVP is worthless. You know, 
Like, if they're giving it to a quarterback each and every year, it kind of, I mean, it's boring, you know? I mean, I know the, the, the quarterback controls 90% of the offense, right? The quarter, the running back, 40%, right receiver, 20%, tight end, probably like 30%. But the majority of the snaps goes to the quarterback. I understand that. But if your running back is having a good year and you're not, but you obviously do for like 55 yard, 55 touchdowns or 39 touchdowns, but you know, you're, your running back rushed for, you know, 12 touchdowns. He he rushed for 2,000 yards. He had 79 carries, but he didn't win the MVP because obviously voting has to go along with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I I I I guarantee, I guarantee you if if they left the voting up to the players or the fans, I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't even be seeing a lot of quarterbacks win these. But since, you know, there's people behind the voting, you know what I'm saying, it kind of, you know, handicaps, you know, the league. You know what I'm saying? Like, defensive players can't even play the way they play anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because the NFL is catered to the, the NFL is catering to the offense. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want to see more fireworks. You know what I'm saying? We want to see more touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? Like, people... People people don't necessarily care about defense anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be seeing all these teams that's first in this and second in this and third in this. It was just pretty fair. You know what I'm saying? They deserve it. You know what I'm saying? But all that shit goes out the window. If they can't, you know, do it the next following year, which I understand because of free agency, you know, the draft. So players come in and out. You know what I'm saying? Like you might miss you might be missing a key player here and there. So obviously, yes, your your defense is gonna dip from year to year. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the Legion of Boom where they had this short run, but obviously at least they won a Super Bowl all of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh or the Ray Lewis defense with Red Ed Reed and Terrell Suggs and and you know, and Ray Lewis, they all won a championship. You know, you talk about the Bucks from 0-2. You know what I'm saying? They won a championship. The, the 07 Giants won a championship. So, historically, yes, great defenses do win Super Bowls. You know what I'm saying? Like the 49ers, the 49ers defense was good, but, but it wasn't efficient. You know what I'm saying? Like year after year, they would struggle you know what I'm saying? They would blow leads and stuff like that. So that's why in the Super Bowl, the Kansas City had the Chiefs numbers on defense because they couldn't stop. They could not stop Patrick Mahomes. Even though Patrick Mahomes played poorly in that game, he still found a way to muster enough points to obviously you know, get back on this game, get back on the game. You know what I'm saying? Like the 49ers did not do their homework at all. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just wish that the MVP in the NFL could go around, you know, like, again, you know, it's not going to hurt. I know it's a quarterback driven league, but it's not going to hurt if you give it, if you let a, a, a defensive player win it or a non quarterback win it on offense. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you think that, if you agree with me that, you know, the NFL should try to, you know, pass the MVP around to somebody else besides the quarterback, y'all can let me know. Or do you think it should just stay giving it to the quarterback each and every year? You know what I'm saying? Because the MVP is not a quarterback trophy. If you think about it, you know, like anybody could, if you have a great statistic, if you have a great statistical season, like if your stats say, okay, yeah, you deserve MVP, you can get it. You can win it. You just have to have the votes. We know whether it's people behind the scenes or, or your peers or the, or your fan, obviously your fans can't vote, but you know, um, you know, um, your peers or people behind the scenes, they can control that whole aspect. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a great year, if a running back or a receiver, you know what I'm saying, have a great year, they'll find 
ways to to nitpick and to say, well, you did this right, but you did this wrong. You know what I'm saying? But if you look, but if they look at a quarterback, they look at a quarterback like they're perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like they God. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, there's nothing that can be wrong because you know they did everything you know that they could. So, therefore, that quarterback wins MVP. You know what I'm saying? But I just think that it's boring to win it, to give it to the quarterback each and every year. You know, like, we all know the quarterback is going to throw over for 4,000 yards. We all know the quarterback is going to throw some picks. We know some quarterbacks are going to throw a lot of interceptions, a lot of touchdowns. It is what it is. But I believe that the running back works harder, works 10 times harder than the quarterback does the wide receiver has to do his job, and the tight end, obviously, the tight ends would never win MVP, but obviously, you know, there's a lot of tight ends in history that could have won MVP, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's my take. Y'all can let me know, um, you know, do you think the NFL should give the MVP to non-quarterback players? Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.